Uh, I think Trump, in the four years at the White House, was a, an enormous boost for populism in Europe. It was a boost, Trumpism was a boost, because, um, you know, White House, it is a sort of uh, word megaphone. Uh, the word public opinion was following uh, Trump's ideas, Trump's messages, because, of course, President of the U.S. has the possibilities to, to link what he says with the acts, with the actions. So uh, the, the advertising, the, the fact that the visibility of what uh, Trump uh, said in the four years um, legitimated a lot what European populists uh, did. And the lack of Trump at the White House today is a big problem for them. I have to say that uh, in the last two months, personally, I didn't know anything about Trump and about what Trump said, did. And in the last four years, every day, morning, afternoon, and evening, there was reporting uh, something something about Trump. So the lack of Trump in the in the landscape. Uh, is, is, a, is, a, is a big problem for uh, populists in Europe because Trump legit, g gave a lot of legitimacy to their disruptors, their behaviors. And you know, Trump in, in the, the four years at the White House was the most relevant enemy of the European integration. I don't want to say of Europe. I say of the European integration because he... Uh, he said clearly that he was pushing for uh, intergovernmental cooperation, bilateral cooperation. And he was a strong supporter, of course, of Brexit, a very visceral and vocal one. Of course, of course. So I think today we are taking advantage of this new uh, uh, landscape. It is something very positive. We had last year... Uh, an increase in the popularity of the European Union because of the solidarity measures. Uh, now we have not to waste uh, this opportunity in favor of Europe.